Now, the entire nation remains in a state of shock and grief over the solo sinking more than three weeks after the ferry capsized. But the place hit the hardest by this tragedy is Ansan, as it is a city that most of the victims called home. Arirang News Shin Se-min reports on how the city is coming to terms with their grief. A final trip around the school they once attended. For the 11th grade students of Tanon High School who died in the Sewolho Ferry tragedy, this drive through campus in a slow moving hearse signifies their last visit. It's also meant to bring some sense of closure to the living who are grieving over the loss of so many young lives. Ribbons and countless notes adorn the fence outside the high school, letters and messages that read, I'm sorry. Please come home safely. It's hard to find anyone in the city of Ansan who doesn't know someone directly affected by the disaster. I came here to see those kids enter school in funeral hearses. I have a grandson who is a senior and attends the school. It breaks my heart to think of the suffering the teens and their families are going through. <laughs> Kojandong is among the hardest hit neighborhoods in the city. The working class area, composed of simple brick apartment buildings, was home to 109 students that were on the ferry. What used to be a bustling school zone filled with groups of teenagers has changed. Residents describe a stillness now brought on by the loss of a high school and loss of the city. Grief has shrouded the city of Ansan, which has a population of 710,000 people. It permeates every corner of the community and has taken a toll on local business. Shop owners say they've seen a considerable drop in their number of customers. The area is grieving over the students who have died, such young students. It's completely understandable that sales have dropped. The tragedy has brought this community together. The city's residents seek out comfort at a mass memorial hall in Parang Park where they come to console one another. A sign that the tight community stands together in this most difficult time. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.